Hey, what's up YouTube down the fix it man got another quick video here for you This is just a little portable jump starter noco boost gb70 I've used this on several vehicles You know if you've got a car that won't start uh, due to a low battery you throw it on there 30 seconds later start it up so I've even used this to jump several cars in a row without charging it in between But this is the first time that I'm attempting to try it on a battery That's just about completely dead. So right now we're looking at 1.24 volts. This has been dead for quite a while It's not very old of a battery, but I think I think we've got a parasitic draw due to the radio or something aftermarket that's been added to this truck but for right now i do just want to do this quick little test and verify if this jump pack will start a battery that's completely dead now i watched a couple of the videos on the website about how to use this you know i, I usually just hook it on and it does its thing you just turn it on i just want to show you here first that it's fully charged just hit the power button and you can see that our green light is on i'm going to turn it back off here and then we're going to get it hooked up and then we have this little exclamation point here or the boost function and i believe we may have to use that because we're less than two volts on this battery but let's give it a try and see if we can get this truck started let's make sure we got a really good connection here with these clamps or cables now this jump starter does have all kinds of protections built into the circuitry to where if you hook this up backwards that turns orange and it'll tell you that you have it hooked up wrong now i don't know if it's different on different versions but some of the versions say you just put the cables on and it will detect the voltage and then these lights will start to chase where they'll just start to you know sequence from left to right let's just turn on the power and see if that starts to do its thing. It's just showing the power level here. So it's not even picking up that we're connected to a battery. If you do press this exclamation point and go into the manual boost or force boost, you don't have the protection that's built in. We're just gonna press and hold this exclamation point here, this red one, and then we'll see that that will start to chase. And then this light will be on showing that it's ready to start. So I'm just gonna press and hold this button. There we go. So we've got that light flashing. These lights here are in their chase mode. So let's just go and see if we can start this now. All right, we're gonna turn this off now and disconnect it. So you can see our alternator is working really hard right now. Now, the reason I shut this off rather than just let the alternator charge it is that's really forcing the alternator to work harder than it should. And a lot of times I've seen alternators almost just burn up. I mean, they're just doing way too much current, way too much output. The best thing for this battery as well, if we have a chance of bringing it back, would be to put it on a trickle charger in the garage. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the battery out, put it on a charger. I actually have a, a NOCO 5 amp. I'm going to put that on and just let it do its thing over the next day or two. And it should bring that battery back. If it doesn't, or if we have any errors, we'll just change the battery out. This truck sat for about six or seven months here and wasn't started and that battery just went dead and so we've, we've got to figure out if we've got a parasitic draw or if it's just this battery just didn't like to sit there for that long so we'll take a look at that once we get the battery fully charged up that's all for now i just wanted to give you a quick little review on this little jump starter works great used it several times but that's the first time that i've used it to try to start a battery that's completely dead usually you know we'll still have some lights on the dash or a click this thing was so dead it wasn't doing anything at all we'll get this figured out but more importantly i just wanted to show a quick little review of this jump pack i've had it just over a year and a half and uh, hasn't let me down yet. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this same jump starter as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.